Hello and welcome to another Linux Hint tutorial. Today we'll be teaching you how to install the Eclipse IDE for Java. Now Eclipse can be quite the useful tool because it is very extensively modifiable via plugins and it can help you develop for a number of languages, even though it's mainly focused on Java. So to get Eclipse, you will have to go to the official site which is eclipse.org and right from the home page you can see that there's a download button. Now obviously you will have to click that. Now after you verify that these are the details for you, click the download button. And your download will start. Now because I've already downloaded it, I'll just get straight away to showing you how to install. This is the file that you will get. And if you want to extract it via the graphical user interface, just right click it and select extract here. If you wish to use the command line, just navigate to your directory. And you can see the tar file over there. So you use tar xzvf and the name of your archive. Now we have it extracted and over here you can see that there is an Eclipse inst which is for installer file. Now you will have to navigate to the directory of the installer, so you go Eclipse and then execute the file with super user rights. Now from here on you can select what exactly you need. And you can see that there's a number of different versions and also tools for the Eclipse IDE. But I suppose you'll be using it for Java, so for this tutorial we'll select Eclipse IDE for Java developers. You can see now that there's a prompt that lets you choose a directory to install it. So I'm gonna go straight ahead and uh, just Install it to opt. Now, as usual, you can read those, you can skip through them. Just click accept now, and the installation process will begin. Now, do keep in mind that in order to use Eclipse, you will have to have OpenJDK installed and separately if you don't have it installed you can just install it via apt so to do it you can look up in the app cache which version of OpenJDK is in the repositories so here you can see that there's open JDK version 8 JDK. So if you don't have it installed, just go. And meanwhile, the installer is doing its job. So we'll have to wait for that to finish and I'm gonna speed it up so you don't have to wait with me. Now if you run into this error, it will ask you if you trust those certificates and you can see that they're signed by the Eclipse Foundation so you'll just have to go ahead and accept them. Now we can see that the installation has been completed successfully and you can go ahead and set up launch Eclipse right from here. Now after it has been installed you will have to use a workspace for Eclipse which I will have to create right here. So 
like that. In my case, in your case it can be anything, so just pick one. I'll go with the default. And go launch it and see if everything runs okay. Now you can see that Eclipse is running, pretty much everything works. So you can go straight ahead and create a new project or you can start just using any of the functionalities of it. And that's pretty much it.